Welcome to Electro Online, and here are some additional mysteries as to how the solar system got to look the way it does today. One of those mysteries is why the three big gas planets, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, ended up so far away at distance of 10, 20, and 30 astronomical units for Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. The thinking goes that when they were first formed, they were not anywhere near those distances. And also, we're trying to explain how the Oort cloud came about. The Oort cloud is a region that engulfs our solar system at much greater distances than I indicated here, the way I've drawn it, because it's not to scale, but distances that are many thousands and thousands of astronomical units away, as far away as perhaps as much as a light year away from the sun, a big region of ice particles and rock particles, mostly ice particles, probably reside in a spherical-shaped region around our solar system. How did that get to be the way it did? So the thinking is, and again, we don't know for sure, the thinking was that Jupiter, because it was the largest, by far the largest planet in the solar system, was the primary cause for kicking things way out into the outer edges of the solar system, then kicking those pieces of debris that was left within the outer part of the solar system, but not the far reaches of the solar system, but pushed them way out there, and the influence of nearby stars that must have been out there within so many light years from our sun that would have then kept them from going further into space but kind of guided them into these spherical orbits. And that's why we think the Oort cloud exists and looks the way it does today. Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune probably kicked a bunch of debris further inward and caused the planets therefore to move outward, kind of like the conservation momentum. If you push an object in one direction, the pushing object will then move in the opposite direction. And so it's, it's believed that a lot of the material that was in the far reach of the solar system got kicked to the inner end of the solar system and therefore moving those planets further out. Again, they're looking for solutions, they're looking for explanations why the solar system looked the way it does. Our initial calculations, our initial simulations do not necessarily support those planets being that far away and we assume that the planets formed closer by and then somehow migrated to those far away distances. Maybe it was because the planets slowed down or maybe the planets sped up and making them move around like that. We don't know for sure but we have some ideas and those ideas are what we're representing to you here today. But again, you can see there's still a lot of room for further study, further simulations to really try to figure out what happened to the far reaches of our solar system and why the solar system looks the way it does today. We have explanations for some of the things. We're still scratching our head and trying to figure out what happened in the other cases. But it's a good theory to go by until we know more. This is what we'll stand by today. And this is why we think this is the way it happened in the far past of our solar system.